What's up guys, David or 1212, and today we're having a discussion. Ah uh, yes, a uh, discussion day, and today we're talking about the new revealed Master Rule 5s and what I think about them. Yeah, those will be my thoughts on the new revealed Master Rule 5. I might do a separate video on the Rush tools themselves, but it's not an official format, like, uh, as far as the advanced format is concerned, so it's like, I don't care. Although, hot take, the, the new card designs are really ugly. What is this, Bakugan? Uh. But before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know, uh, down in the description, you got a link to my Discord, so you guys can come hang out, do the lists. There's also the Facebook and the Patreon if you guys want to help support the channel by spreading things around or throwing me free monies that I can use to buy more equipment, things like that. I need some new lights, actually. These are like these $5 work lights from uh, Walmart covered in uh, parchment paper as diffusers. I think it's time to upgrade. <laughs> and I, I also think I'd like a green screen thing that's retractable so I don't have a giant ugly green wall all the time. But, okay. Enough of that. Also, uh, stay tuned at the end of the video. I have a couple of fan mail things I'd like to open for you guys. And uh, if you guys want to send me free stuff or fan letters or whatever, uh, there is my uh, P.O. box in the description below for that. Uh, I know I don't do this all the time, but it's because I don't get letters. But if I don't get letters, I don't do videos for it, and then you guys don't know to do it. So it's a vicious cycle. So I'm going to try to throw these in at the end of other videos until I start getting, uh, presumably, if I even do, a stream of stuff or content. Also, quick announcement, stay tuned for my last big video of the year, the best cards of the last decade. <laughs> yep, uh, a couple people have suggested this. Lo, did they know I was actually putting it together. Just the Discord and I are going through it year by year, and uh, oh boy, is this an undertaking. It's taking a lot longer. It was actually what I expected to do this weekend, but it's, it's just not done. Um, I'm trying to do two cards of every year as opposed to just like actually doing like a top 10 best cards of the decade because half of them would just be most of them would just be from like the last two years because they power crept all the stuff from the beginning of the decade so i want to do like two cards two cards a year so there's a lot to whittle down there so bear with me it should be out by the end of the year though but without further ado let's get into master rule 5. starting april 1st the ocg has announced a change to the main rules of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Advanced Format card game. This is what people refer to as Master Rule 5, for this is the fifth time that this has happened where a major change has happened to the game. Normally, when one of these uh, rears its ugly head, it also introduces a new game mechanic. Many of you may remember that Master Rule 4 not only changed the board by moving the pendulum zones from their own zone into the uh, left and rightmost uh, spell and trap zones, but also introduced the link summoning mechanic. Rumors were abounding of what, what we would actually get for the fifth new mechanic added to the game, but uh, turns out, nah, that didn't happen. Nope, the only changes for this are uh, no longer do you need to summon fusion, synchro, or XC monsters to a open link zone that a link monster is pointing to. Nope. They can go to the extra deck zone or a unused main monster zone or whatever, just like you could back in Master Rule 3. Link monsters and pendulum monsters, however, are still under the Master Rule 4 style of rules, where if you're going to like link monsters or summon pendulum monsters, they need to go to appropriate link monster zones. So, uh, RIP pendulums. <laughs> So that's it. That that's that's what they're doing. No changes to the amount of extra deck. No changes to the, the the minimum or maximum number of cards. No new summoning mechanic. We still don't have that red card yet. We're running out of colors. It's the last one. No slifer doesn't count. Which makes this master rule five feel a lot less like a new master rule and more of a uh, master rule. 3.5 kind of odd backpedal. So what are my thoughts on this whole thing? Well, um, the frog paleo player dude in me really enjoys the fact that now I don't need to have uh, extra zones open for toads and oleanoides or uh, not oleanoides, obabina. It's been a while since I played that card. Because it's hard to make a bunch of XE monsters. Most of the time you're making link monsters. So for a lot of older decks, uh, Burning Abyss, Fluffle, uh, uh, like Doppel Warrior Synchro Plant Jank, or Quasar, stuff like that, where having uh, multiple extra deck zones open via Link Monsters was very difficult to do because your objective was to spam a bunch of XC or Synchros, but you were wasting your resources on Links, so therefore you couldn't go into your XC Synchro spam as much as you would have liked. So a lot of old school decks definitely get a power boost due to this change, which is nice. Overall, I think the change is interesting and probably a positive thing 
with a few caveats. Number one, a lot of decks have gotten legacy support to make those decks better at link summoning to accommodate them and update them for Master Rule 4. It is a bit concerning that they are backpedaling the restrictions on the extra deck because some of this legacy support that gave spamming abilities to older decks could there now be misused to instead of linking necessary you know upshiftings for your link summons for now your xc and synchros so possibly abusing more recent legacy support for ways that were no longer intended because a change to the Mast rule was not necessarily anticipated when the card was created. Also, uh, cards like Shockmaster and Lavalval Chain and Denglong and what else is on the ban list? All those white and black cards on the ban list, they are now they are now stuck there. Before with Master Rule 4 and Link Monsters uh, slowing down the extra deck to a degree, also bogarting a massive portion of your extra deck meant that uh, the space devoted to purple, white, and black cards in your extra deck is extremely limited. So it would be very possible to have eventually seen a lot of those start coming off the ban list because albeit very powerful monsters like Shockmaster and Lavalval Chain, a little difficult to make when you're needing to blow all your resources on link climbing instead. So fight for extra deck room, as well as, you know, like Castell and Utopia the Lightning, extra deck XE monsters like that are just inherently more useful because they're problem solving, not combo extenders. So if you're going to devote space to your extra deck, you'd probably want to play Exiton Knight than Shockmaster. So we probably could have had those come off the ban list. Now with the backpedaling of the rules, we will probably never see Shockmaster, Lavalval Chain, Denglong, or anything because they just got all a power boost. Any impracticalness of their summons that Link Summoning had uh, bestowed upon them, presumably allowing them to come off the ban list at some point, is now negated. That that is kind of sad and annoying. Do I think the positives outweigh the negatives? Uh, that is yet to be seen. I think it will be good. There's a lot of old decks I would really like to play that just, you know, just can't accommodate a Link strategy. So it'd be really nice to, you know, actually be able to do that again. Plus, it gives Nurse Burn a boost because <laughs> try and guess uh, might actually work now that people are going to start taking blue cards out of their extra deck. <laughs> So that's always a plus. And also, if anything, like I said before, that was made to help uh, spam Link Monsters is now being abused to spam white and black cards. If that does happen, and uh, we inadvertently grinder golem another card by doing this, worst case scenario, they just stick it on the ban list. So uh, I really don't think that's a, a, a big uh, doom and gloom kind of thing, because again, worst case scenario, Konami can just fix the format with a ban list or a new master rule, hell, a, a 5.5 halfway through the the, the 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 period or whatever, they can do what they want, they own the game. I don't think anyone should be too afraid that it's going to like really uh, irreparably damage the game because I, I don't think anything can actually do that because at the end of the day, Konami can just wave their hand and fix it with some other ridiculous sweeping change. So that's just kind of my, uh, my, my first take at looking at all this. Uh, I would really like to sit down with a couple of my older favorite decks and see what they can do uh, now that I don't have to rely on blowing resources on a Link monster. And uh, final note, I don't think this hurts Links and Pendulums per se. Pendulum decks seem to be working perfectly fine under the uh, Master Rule 4 because we were given things like Electromite and things like that that help support the nerfing of Pendulums to make them playable but not broken like they were during like Master Rule uh, 3 or... Yeah, three. So moving forward, I don't think, uh, I don't really think that it's, it's going to hurt them at all. If anything, it still might be a boon because sure, I can't just spam my extra deck pendulum monsters, but I can now go like full Pepe style and turn all those things into Naturia Beasts and uh, what are the cards they used to play? You used to be able to just like make a board of just fusion synchros and exceeds during Pepe format. You just make a bunch of weird stuff, whatever. Having the extra deck unlocked so they don't have to like use all their pendulum guys to make uh, link monsters, but they can actually use it to now make uh, secro secros <laughs> synchros and exceeds. Uh, so they can play a little bit like they were uh, they used to, so it's kind of like a, a nice compromise. You might see a boost to Pendulums, actually, as opposed to most people thinking that it's going to kill them. Also, uh, Link Monsters are built to Link Climb and, and co-link and, and meander around your board in a big line of blue, so this doesn't change how those work at all, so I, 
if it was a viable link deck before, I think it's perfectly fine to be a viable link deck going forward. And I kind of like the idea that the link monsters are now the only ones that really, really need to play with their arrows because that's their gimmick. That's how they should work. Everything else should probably just work how they were intended and we'll fix it later. So cool. But anyway, that was my thoughts on the new master rule. I hope it wasn't too meandering. It probably was. But anyway, let's, uh, let's open some letters. All right. This first one is from Robbie. Robbie, uh, it's actually like a weird flyer thing. I've seen some of your videos and like to test your skills in an actual duel. We can meet in person or, oh. Uh, thank you for the challenge. That's very flattering. Uh, however, um, I will meet you at a regional or s somewhere very public. <laughs> All right, next up. Is this Yuri? I think this is Yuri. He's on my Discord. Also, uh, for the record, Yuri, you did send this to me for a while ago, but like I said, I've been waiting to get more than one, so sorry about that. Hey Dave, it's Yuri again, and I ended up going to Springfield Regionals, and glad I didn't. I heard it was poorly executed. Uh, yeah. I will most likely be at Brooklyn on the 14th. <laughs> I don't know uh, when I got this, so that is completely irrelevant. Hopefully I'll see you there. Unfortunately, I don't have any cool things to send you this time, but I definitely will in the future. I almost picked up some uh, foreign aqua actresses for you, but didn't know if you had the deck IRL. I actually uh, bought a box of the Secret Forces, which I'm pretty sure is the set that came out in, so I have like the whole deck like five times over, but a uh, foreign print of the deck would be kind of funny. Yesterday was April Fool's. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> this is old. So I guess if you need to pad out a video length uh, to 10 minutes, best April Fool's prank you've seen? I don't know, but I would really like to uh, do one this coming April Fool's because like, I like trolling, hence the motto of the channel. So I might do one this year, we'll see. Keep up the good content and the Discord. Thanks, buddy. Oh yeah, people should send you more mail. And the new Metamats, uh fish design looks awesome. I love it so much. See ya. Thanks, Yuri, for the letter. As always, they're super cool. I do keep all of these, so it's like in a it's in a tin around here somewhere. So if you guys want to send me some fan mail and have it opened on the channel, uh, I will do that eventually, as long as I get more than one. But now that I'm doing these at the end of videos, as opposed to their dedicated uh, mail day videos, may I'll just do them as I get them, so you'll see them turn around much quicker. But thank you guys, and remember guys, if you don't troll the matter who will, I'll see you guys next time. What's up, douchebags? By the power of this heel of all my calculos, I command you to subscribe to the channel. Grab your deck and be sure to click one of these other videos by David A.K. 1212. It's the best damn channel on the internet. Yeah, man. Yeah.